Vikings rookie quarterback J.J. McCarthy will undergo surgery this week after tests revealed he suffered a torn meniscus in his right knee during the team's preseason opener against the Raiders. Head coach Kevin O'Connell confirming that the team does not have a timeline for McCarthy's recovery, which could be anywhere from a few weeks to several months. O'Connell added it will be something determined during the procedure based upon whether it can just be a cleanup or potentially a repair. Meantime, Patriots head coach Jaron Mayo calling their joint practices with the Eagles this week a good measuring stick and confirmed rookie quarterback Drake May will get more reps to build his confidence and operate the offense. Giants head coach Brian Dayball saying that rookie wide receiver Malik Neighbors is good and his ankle injury is not long term after having an MRI and x-ray done. Neighbors saying the thought of the injury was much worse than it ended up being and confirmed he'll be ready for week one. This has been NFL Network Now on the Westwood One Radio Network. All right, when it comes to getting life insurance for your family, a lot of excuses can get in the way. But ask yourself this, if something were to happen to me, who would pay the mortgage, the kids' education, and the other bills? Then forget the excuses and check out Ethos Life, the online easy way to get life insurance in 10 minutes. Ethos has rates that you can afford, like a $500,000 policy for a 40-year-old male starting at $1 a day or $30 a month with a few health questions and no medical exam. Get your free quote right now at checkethos.com. That's checkethos.com. Not available in all states. Rates do vary. When you were young, all you wanted in the summer was an ice cream truck to roll by. Now, you just can't wait for the Harbor Freight parking lot sale to roll around. And it'll be here this weekend. Maybe you're looking to fill up that tool chest. Maybe you're looking for a tool chest to fill up. You'll save money either way. Whatever you do, do it for less at Harbor Freight. Valid until August 18th, 2024. All supplies last. Limitations apply. We are the Imperial Valleys, AM 1230 KXOL, Centro, California. I checked. It's a Wednesday. It is the 14th day of August 2024. Just about halfway through the month of August. Yeah, and a beautiful morning. Ah, yes, the key, the humidity down significantly. And, uh, well, that's that's always a good sign. Makes it, uh, well, we can tolerate things a little bit better. Not as brutal when we were getting that 50, 60, 70 percent relative humidity. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. Anyway, is it going to stay this way? Don't count on it. Not yet. But it's uh, kind of a preview of... Uh, Typically, what uh, starts happening about the middle of September, okay? So, uh, you know, we're getting getting ever closer to that when we can say, the weather broke. We mentioned it is a Wednesday, 14th day of August. Today is National Tattoo Removal Day, a day that encourages individuals to remove unwanted tattoos and promotes awareness about innovations in tattoo removal technology. What? What, circular, uh, you know, uh, sander isn't going to do it? Yeah, well, anyway, um, I understand Gabe Lemus is uh, planning on having that Celine Dion tramp stamp removed from his back. Yeah. Ah, yes. Uh, big Celine Dion fan. Okay. And uh, you notice the Olympics are over. Yeah. Ah, do you miss them? Eh. Okay. It, what it means is the Olympics are over. We have a four-year break from really caring about Soccer, gymnastics, beach volleyball, rhythmic swimming, uh, break dancing. I'm sorry. There are things that go on at the Olympics that, in my book, do not qualify as sports. Hey, those break dancing was pretty cool, though. Oh, say. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Pretty 70s, right into the 80s. Oh, yeah. You know, they had some girl from Australia that made it look silly, but everybody else was uh, pretty cool. I mean, like, it, it takes a lot of strength and, you know, all that stuff. To yeah, but sports. is it a sport? I consider it somewhat of a sport. Yeah. And personally, I consider it a sport because a lot of the stuff they do, it's harder than gymnastics. You see stuff in gymnastics, and these guys are doing, like, triple or double backflips and crazy stuff just dancing. Okay. You know, on a hard floor. <laughs> Okie dokie. I thought it was on a piece of cardboard in the middle of the street. Uh, yeah, that's how it started. Yes. 
Okay, with a boom box hanging nearby. <laughs> ah, anyway, and I'm sorry, rhythmic swimming. Okay, yeah, I know they put a lot of time, a lot of effort into it, but I don't know, you know, anymore. Everything is a sport and a competition. I, you know, cooking, it's not a competition. <laughs> Are you ready for birthdays? Birthday time. Okay, Dash Crofts of Seals and Crofts is 86. Actor, musician, Steve Martin, the master of the banjo, 79. Actor, Antonio Vargas is 78. Larry Graham of Sly and the Family Stone, 78. Actor, Susan St. James, 78. Romance novelist, Danielle Steele, 77. Cartoonist, Gary Larson of The Far Side, Guy's incredible. He's 74. Actor Carl Lumley is 73. Actor Jackie Harry is 68. Actor Marsha Gay Harden, 65. Actor Susan Olson from The Brady Bunch, 63. Actor Halle Berry, 58. Actor Ben Bass, 56. Actor Catherine Bell, 56. Actor Leilanya Masters, 52. Actor Christopher Gorham, is 50, actor Mila Kunis, 41, actor Lamorne Morris, 41, actor Marcel Martin, 20, local birthdays, we got a bunch. We have happy birthday wishes for Patsy Castro, Alicia Taylor Garcia, Tutti Luna, Maria Celeste Gonzalez, Gil Barella, John Moreno, Linda Hernandez, Antonio Saldivar, Joseph Jesse, Isela Hernandez, Heather Trapnell, Irene Diaz, Jasmine Llanos Orozco, Rosa Amayo, Francis Carbajal, Carissa Trujillo, Gabriel Juarez, Dad, Jose Castaneda II, and son, Jose Castaneda III, Antonio Chavarin, TJ Hernandez, David Dacio, Elizabeth Cochran, George Walton, David Jimenez, Isabel Chavaria, Janice Pugh, Gina Gerardo, Jose Garcia, LaVon Porter, Luann Evans, Mario Julian Mendoza, Martha Godoy, Sandra Camarena, Marisela Rosales, and Maria Belen Silva. Happy birthday from KXO. Well, what's, what's with all these people born? Yesterday and today, we had a, a, a four-page list. Had to take a break in the middle. So I... I don't know. Lots and lots of birthdays in the middle of August, right? Holiday or something nine months ago. It must, it must be. be. <laughs> yeah. 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 Go back and check the calendar. <laughs> How well? Let's see. We mentioned uh, Steve Martin is 79 today. Yeah. And uh, the master of the banjo. Okay. Yeah. Master of the claw hammer. That too. Yes. And, uh, you know, we uh, sometimes he's funny. <laughs> okay. Are you ready for news? News time. We've got a look at World in California news headlines to begin with. Brought to you this morning by the Imperial County Air Pollution Control District. Delivering real-time updates about the air that you breathe. CBS News Brief. Consumer prices rose less than 3% in July to their lowest annualized monthly rate since 2021. Most of the increase, according to CBS's Javier David. Housing. It's proven really relentlessly sticky. That's the most intractable component of inflation. It's the hardest to get under control, even more so than food. The new numbers could finally prompt the Fed to cut interest rates. Tropical storm Ernesto's left huge swaths of Puerto Rico with no power. Luma Energy's Juan Saca. 32 segments at this point of transmission lines have been impacted. Uh, right now we have 570,424 customers out of service. Hamas is resisting calls to join ceasefire talks that resume tomorrow. CBS's Rami Innocencio is in Tel Aviv. A diplomat briefed on the talks told CBS News that the militant group is open to talking only after Thursday if there is some kind of breakthrough. CBS News Brief. I'm Deborah Rodriguez. The Imperial County Air Pollution Control District delivers real-time information about the quality of the air you breathe. Visit the website at APCD. 
that Imperial County dot org to stay informed about air quality around the valley the website also includes information for upcoming meetings programs and there's access to the dust cams set up around the valley visit apcd.imperialcounty.org today California Headline News, the United Airlines flight heading from San Francisco to Rome grounded in Sacramento after making an emergency landing. Steve Ryan was on board. We just noticed on the flight map that was on the back of the seat in front of us that the flight had turned around and started to head towards Sacramento. We were dropping airspeed and altitude. No, we were going. We were wondering why we were going that way. The plane landed safely. Passengers placed on a new plane and taken back to San Francisco, but they'll be rerouted to Rome. A handgun registered to infamous killer Christopher Dorner resurfaces more than a decade after his death. Jenna McCabe with the U.S. Attorney's Office's investigators are trying to determine at least two robbery suspects and how they got a hold of the gun. We just know that these individuals somehow came in possession of it, and we don't know how long they've been in the country or where they could have picked it up. Federal investigators say so-called Crime tourists from South America may have used the gun in a robbery outside the Beverly Wilshire Hotel last Wednesday. Gas prices holding steady at 460 a gallon. Jeff Scott, California News. World in California News headlines brought to you this morning by the Imperial County Air Pollution Control District. Log on to imperialvalleyair.org for real-time information about the air that you breathe. Oh no, stomach issues again? Stomach issues? Who are you? Your pancreas. I could be the real reason for your diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools. I thought it was my stomach. People often do, but any of these symptoms could mean having a condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency or EPI. With EPI, the pancreas doesn't release enough enzymes to break down food, but EPI is manageable. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and speak with your doctor. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by AbbVie. What's up? I'm Miles. Hey, and I'm Jara. And the little thing we love about the Chick-fil-A maple pepper bacon sandwich is how the flavors come together. First, I taste the smoky grilled chicken, then the pepper bacon with that maple bun. Add it with the sweet heat and the pickles. I'm really sold on the pickle. It meets you in the middle with the sweetness and the heat. It's spice-tastic. yum delicious. Flavoristic. The sandwich of the summer. The maple, maple pepper, pepper bacon, bacon sandwich. sandwich. Order the maple pepper bacon sandwich on the Chick-fil-A app today. Available for a limited time. Real guests paid for their testimonials. And it's page one of the local news. Page one is a service of El Centro Motors Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers. They have three locations in the valley. Quick Lane, they service all makes and all models, and you never need an appointment. KXO News, Landmark Conservation Agreement. The Imperial Irrigation District approved a Landmark Conservation Agreement on Monday. Here is Aaron Adadero. The board's approval came at a special meeting on Monday evening. The System Conservation Implementation Agreement, the SCIA, with the U.S. Bureau of Reclamation will provide funding for the implementation programs from 2024 through 2026 to conserve up to 300,000 acre feet per year of water. The water will remain in Lake Mead to aid the drought stricken Colorado River. The programs authorize expanding IID's existing on farm efficiency conservation program, the OFECP, as well as a new Deficit Irrigation Program, the DIP. The OFECP will incentivize agricultural water users to implement field level conservation measures. The DIP would fund short term idling of established alfalfa, Bermuda grass, and Klein grass crops. According to the IID, these programs will unlock nearly $250 million in federal funding for salt and sea restoration efforts. The SCIA is expected to fund the development of sufficient volumes of, of conserved water over the next three years that, when combined with IID's existing conservation and transfer programs will add up to 750,000 acre feet of conservation each year. And in other news, we have a Salton City shaker. A minor earthquake was recorded near Salton City Wednesday morning. The magnitude 3.2 earthquake had an epicenter about 6.3 miles southwest of Salton City in Imperial County. The U.S. Geological Survey says the earthquake was recorded at 6.11 a.m. There were no reports of injury or damage. Gotta watch out for tidal waves on the Salton Sea. KXO News Time, 7.42. Before you head out on the road, head into El Centro Motors Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers. Ask for the works. 
Trained technicians will change the oil using up to six quarts of synthetic blend oil. Change the filter, rotate the tires, top off the fluids, check the belts, hoses, battery, and brakes, all for one low price. It's the works at Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers, at All Central Motors, the Imperial Valley Mall, and the Brawley Auto Center, or with their new mobile service wherever you are. Seroptimus Lend a Hand. Seroptimus International of El Centro distributed more than 400 backpacks during two events last Saturday. Here's Aaron Adadero with details. The backpacks were filled with school supplies. According to the local Seroptimus Club, the cost of the backpacks and supplies was covered by donations from the community, including $6,000 from BHE Foundation. The club donated 300 backpacks to the Calipatria Latin American Club and Brittany Salza, who hosted a drive in Nyland. They received more than 100 backpacks. And uh, applications for uh, first responders wall are being accepted. The city of El Centro is accepting applications for the second round of first responders wall engravings. The wall engravings honor the contributions and sacrifices of a diverse range of first responders, including firefighters, police officers, emergency medical technicians, paramedics, and public safety dispatchers. The applications are available through the city's economic development department. The cost is $285, and the deadline for application is September 6, 2024. The El Centro First Responders Park is located at 1910 North Waterman Avenue. That's it for page one of local news. Page two and weather up next. Page one of the local news, a service of Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers. They service all makes and all models. They have three locations and Hey, Calexico, Quick Lane has the mobile service vans ready to answer your call. Complete car care at your schedule at your place. Uh, give them a call, schedule an appointment. It doesn't cost any extra. Quick Lane. Caring for an older adult is more than just a job. It's a journey. So whether you're a paid caregiver looking to advance your skills or a family member learning the basics of in-home care, CalGROWS can help everyone better navigate caring for an older adult. Through September, more than 600 free training courses are available in person and online. Classes are offered in multiple languages and paid professional caregivers can earn up to $6,000 in stipends. Visit calgrows.org to learn more. Brought to you by the California Department of Aging. Local news, page two, and the weather brought to you by Burgers and Beer, the place for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Bring the family, meet your friends at Burgers and Beer. Lane closures at San Luis Port. If you travel through San Luis, Arizona, Port of Entry, expect some temporary roadway and lane closures. Here's Aaron Adadero. As art of the modernization and expansion of the port, there will be a temporary closure of one block of Urtizia Stigui Street between William Brooks Avenue and 2nd Avenue, August 14th through 16th from 5.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Phase 2 of the project will see the southernmost lane of Urtizia Stigui Street between Archibald Street and Main Street close from August 19th through the 23rd from 5.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. The closures are necessary to accommodate utility installation construction. There will be a meet and greet. There is still time to sign up for a meet and greet session with Imperial County District Attorney George Marquez. The Imperial Valley Regional Chamber of Commerce will host the meet and greet on Thursday, August 15th from 6 to 8 p.m. in the DA's conference room. There will be a roundtable discussion followed by an opportunity to discuss the impact that commercial crime uh, has on the Imperial Valley business. An an RSVP is required. Contact the IV Regional Chamber for more information and to RSVP. And Clear the Shelter. Clear the Shelters is back. The Imperial County Humane Society is uh, celebrating the nationwide pet adoption and the donation campaign's 10th anniversary with reduced adoption fees. All regular adoption fees are only $10 through September 10th. The local Humane Society has cats and kittens, dogs and puppies, and even rabbits for adoption. Even if you can't adopt, you can help with the donation to the Humane Society of Imperial County. And today is Senior Citizen Day. The Imperial County Board of Supervisors has... Oh, wait, it's not today. Sorry. 
I didn't, I didn't read the whole story myself yet. The Imperial County Board of Supervisors has proclaimed August 21st. August 21st, yes. So that's about a week, a week from today as a National Senior Citizen Day. So across the country, Senior Citizen Day. And uh, the board honors the wisdom, contributions, and vibrant spirit of seniors who made a lasting impact on the community. And I got to say thank you, Grandma. She's helped me out a lot. And part of why I love uh, going out to eat with her, I'll go out to Denny's. And at the end, uh, you know, when the check comes, she say, wait, wait, even if I'm going to pay, she say, hey, check, I got my ARP card. This will get us 15% off. Uh, little perks, you know. KXO News Time 748. We'll take a look at weather next. Did you know that Burgers and Beer has happy hour every day from 3 to 6? With specials on select appetizers, beer specials, and more. Ask for drink specials all day with $5 drinks like Margarita Monday, Tonic Tuesday, Wine Down Wednesday, and Thirsty Thursday. Check out our weekly lunch specials with a soft drink starting at only $8.50. Specials include Bud Bottles for only $4.50. Burgers and Beer with five locations proudly serving you, your family, and friends since 1985. Burgers and Beer for the best burger in town. The National Weather Service says temperatures will remain fairly steady through the weekend in a slightly above normal range, reaching as high as 110 degrees in the Imperial and Yuma Valleys. High pressure will begin to shift back over the southern plains this weekend, resulting in a slight increase in moisture. 109, the high in the valley yesterday, 78, our overnight low. Sunny today with a high near 109, west-southwest wind about 5 miles an hour. Mostly clear tonight with a low around 81, west wind 5 to 10 miles an hour, becoming south-southeast after midnight. Tomorrow will be sunny with a high near 109, light wind becoming south about 5 miles an hour in the afternoon. 88 degrees downtown El Centro. With that, we have 27% relative humidity, wind out of the south 3 to 5 miles an hour. Air quality good everywhere except moderate in Calexico. Local news, page 2, brought to you by Burgers and Beer, the place for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. They've got the best burgers in the valley. Daily lunch specials Monday through Friday. And of course, happy hour, 3 till 6 p.m. every day. What do you get when you combine the fun of a day out on the golf course with the thrills of pulling a strike or two? With the excitement of hitting a jackpot on your favorite slot machine? What do you get? All the fun under the sun. And that's what you'll find and more at Cocoa Casino and Resort. South Highway 95 in Somerton. Plan it all at CocoaPodResort.com. It's sports time brought to you by Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District, an affiliate of the Scripps Health Network, working together to provide you the best care. Major League Baseball Padres shut out the Pirates 3 0. Michael King with a, another impressive start. Blue Jays beat the Angels 6-1. to one. Diamondbacks edged the Rockies 4-3. to three. The Yankees topped the White Sox 4-1. to one. Braves slipped by the Giants 4-3. to three. Nationals 9, Orioles 3. Guardians edged the Cubs 2-1. to one. Tigers beat up on the Mariners 15-1. to one. Marlins blanked the Phillies 5-0. Reds over the Cardinals, 4-1. to one. Astros top the Blue Jays, 3-2. I'm sorry, the Tampa Bay Rays, 3-2. to two. Red Sox uh, got by the Rangers, 9-4. Same score, Athletics over the Mets, 9-4. Twins top the Royals, 13-3. And by the way, Shohai and the Dodgers won. They beat the Brewers, 7-2. Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District, ready to serve you and your family for all of your health care needs. Let our team of dedicated physicians guide you on your journey to better health. Pioneers is a recognized leader in healthcare and has more than 10 health centers and clinics throughout the Imperial Valley. When the need arises, don't hesitate to come and see us. We have services and locations in Calexico and Raleigh, and of course, our award-winning hospital, Pioneers Memorial. For more information on all Pioneer services, visit www.pmhd.org today. Day. And in other news, uh, it'll be uh, the Las Vegas Raiders, Dallas Cowboys, Saturday evening at 6.30. We've got game on FM 107.5, but um, 
the Cowboys. <laughs> Jerry Jones and uh, his Cowpokes haven't won a Super Bowl. Yeah, haven't really won a whole lot of mm, anything. And uh, still, the franchise valued at $10.32 billion. Way to go, Jerry. Yes. And uh, Vikings rookie quarterback J.J. McCarthy will undergo knee surgery, torn meniscus. It hurts. It'll take a while to come back from that. And uh, Cleveland Browns rookie defensive tackle Mike Hall Jr. has been charged with domestic violence in Avon, Ohio, after allegedly threatening a woman with a gun Monday night, according to the police report. And uh, while we're in the same vein, the Washington Commanders signed receiver Martavius Bryant who last played in the NFL six years ago and embarked on a long journey through football's minor leagues to return. Yeah, well, Bryant was suspended indefinitely for drug use in 2018, reinstated November of 2023, and, uh, well, hey, what the heck? The commanders are going to take a shot at this one. Why not? <sighs> and that's it for... Uh, Sports Time, uh, Sports Time, brought to you this morning by Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District. Log on to pmht.org for more information about Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District. Thank you for choosing Imperial Printers Rocket Copy. In today's highly competitive business climate, your company's image is important. The printed materials your company uses conveys a major part of that image. Our graphic designers have the talent and expertise to create a lasting impression for your business. Imperial Printers Rocket Copy offers virtually any type of business solution to meet your needs. From business cards and stationery to computer forms, full color brochures and posters. Let our excellent service and attention to detail provide the best impression for you. Locally owned and operated, Imperial Printers Rocket Copy has locations near you at 430 West Main Street and 100 South 11th Street in El Centro and 184 South Plaza in Brawley. Financial news and a brief look at the weather brought to you by Southwest Security, a locally owned company protecting you, your home, your business, your construction site, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Price hikes slowed more than expected in July, and for the first time in more than three years, the Consumer Price Index has landed below 3%. That paves the way for the Federal Reserve to cut rates next month after a years-long battle with inflation that sent rate hikes spiking to a 23-year high. America's economy is showing signs of stress and now that inflation appears under control, the Fed can reduce borrowing costs to try to get job growth booming again. Consumer prices rose 2.9% for the 12 months ended in July, slowing from June's 3% annual gain, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. On a monthly basis, prices rose two-tenths of a percent after posting a one-tenth of a percent decline the month before. The cost of owning and renting a home rose four-tenths of a percent. That so-called shelter index accounted for nearly 90% of the monthly increase, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. And Mars. Okay, not the planet. The candy company. Mars has agreed to buy Kelanova in a deal that values the maker of Cheez-Its and Pringles at almost $29 billion dollars. Kelanova said in a regulatory filing that its shareholders would receive $83.50 per share in cash, a 33% premium to the stock's closing price on August 2nd, before Reuters first reported news of a possible takeover, including debt. The deal is worth $35.9 billion. The mega deal will create a global snacks behemoth adding a bevy of new nibbles to Mars portfolio of brands, which includes Snickers, M&Ms, and of course, the Mars bars, Kelanova. Well, they split up 
Kellogg into three different companies. Kellanova was the snack book company um, as uh, Kellogg moving to diversify and make some money there. Mixed on the big board, the Dow up 68 points, the S&P 500 up two, the NASDAQ off 51, gold down 1890 an ounce and oil down 62 cents per barrel. Southwest Security has been protecting properties 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, right here at Imperial and Coachella Valleys. Hi, this is Jason Jackson, owner of Southwest Security. I've been in the private security business for over 25 years and have always made it my mission to always provide my clients with the highest quality security services available. Your satisfaction is my number one priority. And don't forget Southwest Postal, the only postal center in Imperial Valley with 24-7, 365 access to your post office box. Access when you need it. Located on the corner of 4th and Hyle in El Centro. We will have sunny skies today with a high near 109, west-southwest wind about 5 miles an hour. Mostly clear tonight with a low around 81, west wind 5 to 10 miles an hour becoming south-southeast after midnight. Thursday will be sunny with a high near 109, light wind becoming south about 5 miles an hour in the afternoon. 89 degrees, 29% relative humidity. Air quality good everywhere, moderate in Calexico. Financial news and a brief look at the weather brought to you by Southwest Security and Southwest Postal Service. The only postal box service offering 24 hour a day, 365 days a year service. You'll find Southwest Postal at the corner of 4th and Hyle in El Centro. Just ahead, CBS News on the Hour will take you around the world. We'll keep you up to date what's going around the neighborhood. Local news throughout the day on AM 1230. The best oldies on the radio. KXO, El Centro, the Imperial Valley's local news source. This is CBS. Sponsored by T-Mobile. I'm Steve Kathan. The inflation rate has slowed to under 3% for the first time in just over three years. The government says consumer prices in July were up 2.9% from a year ago and just a fraction over the month before. CBS's Jill Schlesinger says housing costs are keeping the overall numbers up. The shelter index accounted for 90% of the monthly increase in the CPI, 70% of the annual so if this part of the index is lagging what's happening on the ground, we may be getting a distorted view of what's going on in the inflation for the country. Ernesto is now a hurricane, just upgraded as it spins past Puerto Rico. Half a million customers there don't have electricity. Juan Saco with the island's power company says. So number one concern, of course, is the wind damage that there could be, uh, flooding and any impact to the electric uh, infrastructure. 32 segments at this point of transmission lines have been impacted. Well, now to the Middle East, CBS's Rami Inocencio in Tel Aviv reports the next best hope for a Gaza ceasefire deals tomorrow with the U.S., Qatar, and Egypt looking to forge an agreement. Hamas is leaving some room, some hope open looking ahead after tomorrow. They said that if there is some kind of breakthrough with the people who will be attending, then Hamas could come back after Thursday. In Germany, a possible sabotage reported at a military base. A German military spokesman confirming that someone cut a hole in a fence at a major military base near the Cologne Bonn airport overnight and that its water supply is now being tested for possible sabotage. Several personnel there reported intestinal symptoms overnight. It is not yet clear if there's a link. Security at a regional NATO base was briefly increased, but the water there is since said to have tested okay. Vicki Barker, CBS News, London. Opening statements today in Las Vegas in the murder trial of a local politician accused of killing an investigative reporter. Robert Tellis insists he was framed. CBS's Elise Preston. Tellis stands accused of killing 69-year-old investigative reporter Jeff Gehrman, who had covered Las Vegas for more than 40 years. According to prosecutors, it all began with a series of articles Gehrman wrote for the Las Vegas Review Journal in 2022 featuring interviews with employees who accuse TELUS of fostering a hostile work atmosphere. A New York judge has rejected Donald Trump's bid to have him step aside in the hush money case. Sentencing is set for next month for Trump. Wall Street, right now the Dow is up 57 points. This is CBS News.
Switch to T-Mobile and save with tons of benefits on every plan versus AT&T and Verizon. Use the savings calculator to find out how at T-Mobile.com slash switch. It's better over here. If you're 55 and up, T-Mobile has an exclusive rate plan just for you. Right now, get two lines of talk, text, and data for just 30 bucks a line. That's a 45% savings versus Verizon and AT&T. Plus, you can get one of the latest 5G phones free when you add a line. That's right, a free 5G phone. Experience all this and more on America's largest 5G network. So why wait? At T-Mobile, customers 55 and up can get two lines of talk, text, and data for only 30 bucks a line. Just go to tmobile.com slash choice55 or visit your local store to make the switch. With auto pay using debit or bank account plus taxes and fees, 45% off two lines versus AT&T starter and Verizon welcome. Plan benefits vary. Free phones up to $300 off with 24 monthly bill credits and qualifying new line for well-qualified customers plus tax and $35 device connection charge. Contact us before canceling your entire account to continue remaining bill credits. Bill credits end if you pay off device early. See details at tmobile.com. A priceless honor for the Queen of Salsa. The late Celia Cruz released that song, That Black Woman's Got Rhythm, when she was 75 years old. Now a United States quarter has gone into circulation featuring the Grammy winner with her trademark big hair, giant smile, and a microphone. It makes her the first Afro-Latina to appear on a U.S. coin. The executor of her estate says Cruz was a simple, humble woman and would have been greatly surprised by the honor. Deborah Rodriguez, CBS News. How much do we spend a month on average household bills? Doxo's annual cost of bills index puts the tab at just over $2,100 on the 10 most common bills. It works out to $25,000 a year. It all varies by state. The analysis says the most expensive is Hawaii lowest in West Virginia. Steve Kathan, CBS News. And now, more of the best oldies on the radio. I always have my music on. With Carol Buckley. I can't go a day without it. 